Holy cow, I got a new X-Carve. And not just any X-Carve, in this crate is the brand new X-Carve Pro 4x4 machine. I can't wait to get it out of the box and get it assembled, but first, I need to make a cart. I had to kind of tear it open and get a look at it, but look at this thing. That's the spindle. It's massive. So I jumped into SketchUp and I designed this cart with the idea being I didn't want to take up more of a footprint than what my other X-Carve already does. I wanted to build a cart where the little X-Carve can nest under the X-Carve Pro. The whole thing's made out of steel and plywood and the end product is gonna look a little bit different. But first, I need to get the cart build and then get the x -Car Pro assembled on top of it. Now, I'm gonna make the legs out of this scrap of four x four steel I've had laying around. This is from a dining table I built a while back. This is way overkill, way more than what I need, but I've got it, I might as well use it up. It's time to start cutting up some steel and welding it together. Nick, cue the montage. Roll that beautiful bean footage. You know how I said the design would probably change from that first drawing I showed you guys? Well, that's already happening. So check it out and I'll show you what I'm doing different. So I've got that main portion of the base all welded up and I knew my design was probably a little overkill. So I'm gonna get rid of these supports. Don't need them. Okay, now to flip this thing over for the last time. It weighs every bit of 250 pounds. I'm really happy that this is the last time and my back hurts. Haha, <laughs> yeah, baby. Look at that. I've got a buddy coming over today to help me assemble the X-Car Pro, so I had to go ahead and install the tabletop before I get that pull-out tray done. I'm just gonna throw a couple quick coats of finish on the tabletop, and then I can put this bad boy together. Okay, the machine is mostly assembled. I just got all the cables attached. I'm about to turn it on for the first time and see if it works, fingers crossed. Here we go, moment of truth. 
Ah, uh, it's working. Things are happening. It's not gonna stay like that. I've gotta build the cabinet underneath and that is going to live on the cabinet underneath as well as the computer and all that. And it's kind of a mess of cables right now, but we have a working X-Carve. And that guy is Joe from Last Leg Woodworks. Make sure you check out his channel. He helped me put this whole thing together. Uh, he does a lot of uh, digital fabrication, X-Carve, CNC stuff as well. Uh, make sure you check him out. So I had to take a little hiatus from building the X-Car Pro cart to work on my desk build. If you haven't checked that out, make sure you do that. But now I'm back at it and it's time to build that pullout shelf that the other X-Car goes on. are V casters, which I'm gonna weld onto the bottom of the frame. And then this is a piece of three quarter inch angle iron. Now this is gonna serve as my track. And then this V caster is going to ride on top in that groove. And then I'll take a piece of one and a half inch angle iron and then I'll weld it to the outside to where it keeps the whole thing within the track. So this jerry rig contraption is what I've been using so far as the computer stand for my XCAR Pro. And the last part of this build is making a proper computer stand. Now my original design was gonna have the computer housed back here with a pullout stand where the monitor would raise up. The problem with that is I need to be at the front of the machine when I'm using the computer. And for that reason, I'm gonna build a standalone computer stand. So I jumped into SketchUp and designed this standalone computer cabinet that's gonna be made from three quarter inch plywood that all slots together and is cut on the X-Car Pro. Now the cool part about this cabinet is the monitor is actually gonna be housed inside along with the computer, but when I'm using the X-Carve, it'll be on a TV lift mechanism that I got from tvliftcabinet.com, and at a push of a button, the monitor will raise up out of the cabinet through a door on the top. Should be pretty cool. Let's do it.
Okay, it's finally time to start assembling the computer cabinet. And like I said earlier, everything slots together with these tabs. Now I'll first go in and shoot in a couple brad nails just to kind of hold everything in place. Once I get the whole cabinet assembled, I'll add a couple screws. There's no glue needed and the whole assembly should be nice and easy. Okay, so one of the final challenges of this build is figuring out how to mount my computer monitor to my TV lift stand. Now, this is a TV lift that I got from tvliftcabinet.com. This thing is awesome, super cool. Whole thing raises and lowers at the push of a button. Um, I'll make sure I leave a link below. Definitely check them out. But this is made for mounting a television. This has a different sort of mounting system. So I had to get a little bit creative with how I put it all together. And I did that with a combination of this mounting bracket that captures the monitor and then this adapter plate, which then I can attach to these two. And then the holes in here allow me to attach it to the cross member of the TV lift cabinet. It all works. I've already tried it and then I took it all back apart so I could show you guys. I'll make sure I leave a link for the brackets that I use down below. But now, let's put this thing together. Okay, one last thing to carve, and that's the panel that goes in the back of the cart that the controller is going to sit on. I get to use the tiling feature that's built into easel. I'll carve the first part, the machine will tell me to move the piece. I'll carve that second part, and it should be nice and seamless.
Hey everybody, thanks for checking this one out. I could not be happier with the way this X-Car Pro stand turned out. It's super sturdy. The computer cart, this thing is awesome. That monitor lift gives it that extra wow factor. I've got the SketchUp plan for this link down below. I published the file for this to Easel. I've got that link down below as well so you can carve it for yourself. I wanna thank Inventables for sponsoring this video. Right now, the X-Car Pro is on pre-sale, ships in April. I've got a link for that down below. This machine is a game changer. I highly recommend you check it out. I wanna thank Rockler for supporting my channel. I've got links for all the Rockler products that I use down in the description below. And I wanna give a shout out to tvliftcabinet.com. That monitor lift is super cool. I've got a link down below, definitely check it out. If you're new to the channel, make sure you get subscribed. Thanks for checking this one out and I'll see you back here next time.